probably most religious institutions don't really give much of a hang uh, for uh, what I'm up to. They're busy with their own business. Uh, I think that uh, there are particular teachers in the different uh, traditions. There are particular teachers in the different religious traditions who've responded um, with interest and um, love of my artwork. I've got fans. Matthew Fox is a uh, Christian theologian who has a deep connection with my artwork. I think that uh, any of the mystics, you know, from the different paths could see some of the relevance of uh, what I'm trying to do because my artwork is about affirming the, uh, basically the perennial philosophy as Aldous Huxley calls it, you know, the underlying core of mystic truth that runs through all the different uh, traditions. So at the Chapel of Sacred Mirrors here we have um, an imam who comes, uh, an Islamic uh, teacher who feels a resonance with the artwork even though in Islam it's an aniconic uh, religion and tends to steer away from imagery. He can see that there is a, uh, a a spirit that transcends a particular tradition. Uh, there were uh, um, Tibetan Buddhist uh, teachers that have come and taught at the Chapel of Sacred Mirrors, and they likewise uh, have a sense of the sacred that transcends their own um, particular religion and, and uh, their own set of images and things, and they can likewise see uh, that the artwork is relevant because um, it points to the uh, visionary state and uh, it tries to point to what's universal about uh, human life, you know, love. It essentially, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to make visible these forces uh, and values that really make us uh, what we are as people. Uh, how do you portray the energies of caring, you know, that's a, we want to reinforce in people those kinds of energies, or the energies of love. You know, how do you portray that to make an image of what is love, or what is uh, a sense of the unity of the uh, underlying, uh, the underlying unity of the different wisdom traditions? How do you portray that? You know, uh, those are things we want to affirm, and I think that. It's very interesting. We have these uh, what's called mirror neurons. I, I don't know whether you're familiar with them, but it's basically the relay systems in our brains that uh, allow us to model uh, reality. Uh, it's how we learn anything. You know, when uh, when we're learning, uh, we're watching someone do something uh, out in the world. The same neurons that are firing in the person who's doing the thing are the same neurons that start to fire inside of the brains of someone who's paying attention and concentrating on that person. So uh, the Dalai Lama calls them compassion neurons, basically. Um, but it means that when we're attentive to the outside world, that we're basically mirroring it. So as an artist, I feel like it's a responsibility to try and mirror uh, what our highest possibility is. you know. And uh, that's, you know, that's the point of sacred art.